I didn't speak of that day until I learned of its name. I was 14 and watching an episode of Oprah because Oprah is America's therapist. And there was a woman speaking with wet eyes and a cracked voice, and she was telling Oprah about the molestation that occurred in her home. She described the scenario in which her innocence was overcome. And as I listened to her story, I thought of the basement's darkness and what happened inside of it. What I heard from her and what I remembered sounded the same, except I'd never given it a name like she did. To me, it was just something that happened. But according to this woman, I was a victim of sexual abuse. To call it by name allowed me to connect dots. The consequences of abuse, like fear and shame and uh, control, dominated my days, but it had a source that I could not acknowledge until it was reintroduced to me. It was not merely that a teenage boy did something to me when I was little. That's far too abstract, which mutes the heartbreaking reality of what actually happened. It was that I was molested and violated by an image bearer who did not see me as one. What happened was perversion, demonic, a tragedy, the product of a corrupted bloodline, a cursed humanity, a dying boy spreading death because he thought to steal from me would give him life, to call it by name, no matter how painful was to make sense of it all, to put flesh on floating bones and watch it walk. If I wanted to be healed, I needed to be specific about what had been broken. I always thought that Healing was an immediate act of God dependent upon the measure of my faith. Like the woman whose bleeding stopped the moment that she touched God's clothes. Though I had no hymn to hold, I had all of the time to pray. To ask God to deliver me from what that almost man did to me. But what I've come to learn of God is that his healing is gradual and unassuming. And it usually begins with the hard work and sometimes unintentional revelation that the trauma actually exists. Everything related to my molestation that needed to be healed had to be recognized first. 